Ethan. Oh, what the fuck, Jack? Hey, shh, Are you? I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is he still alive? Oh, oh. What is it? I could have helped him. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. No more boy, Lucas. Oh. Evelyn, stay oh, away God. from him. Why? Oh, I'm Ethan. He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. <laughs> he doesn't Don't love you him. yet. He picked his way. Silly, <laughs> I told you. I'm not going to hurt it. Hi, Mia. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to be there. There's no time. Here, take this. What's this? Oh no. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Yeah, Rex ship, Ethan, Black Blob follows after into the rig ship. Oh no. Dramatic music? Well, I'm quite sure we left on a dramatic time. Okay, trips, we're back, we're back with Resident Evil Biohazard. We're doing here, I'm just making sure. Have I done these? Do I need to do this again? Yeah. Okay, so last time, I think it may have been last week's mission uh, episode where we. Uh, no, I think it was the week before that where we saw the video of Ethan. I mean, saw him in a weird. I was going to say cocoon, but I guess it wasn't a cocoon, but he was just trapped in this blob. Uh, and I guess we're going to go save him. But last week, at the end of last week's episode, I did promise you something big. And I wasn't lying. We're going to get something big to do. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm ready. My one question is, if we gain, regain control of Ethan, do we get to keep me as things? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's go, I guess. Anyway, but if you're here, then please subscribe so that you can see what's behind this door. <laughs> uh, like the, the video so you can see what's behind this door and put your little notification bell on so you can see what's behind this door! And so you can see what happens next week. Let's go. Hello, little child. <gasps> There's Ethan behind you. I didn't even see that. Evelyn. I need you to do something. What? Oh. Oh, God. Ethan? This is where she put all the alarms Ethan. on. Ethan. Are you okay, Ethan? Ethan! Ethan. Ethan? Oh. What the fuck? Jack, hey, shh, are you? I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is he still alive? Oh, alive oh, Zoe. I could have helped him. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Oh. Or even Zoe here. She didn't kill anyone. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? So are they still she alive? She affected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. A gift? I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind. Your soul. Wow. He's such a different guy when he's not chasing you. <laughs> you are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Wow. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Yeah. Listen, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her, and you stop her. Okay. A bay is not as easy as that. Yeah. Oh. Free of him. Please. Wow. 
So where the fuck? Where was that? <laughs> Evelyn, stay oh away God. From him. Why? Oh, I'm Ethan. He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. <laughs> he doesn't Don't love you him. yet. He picked his way. Silly, <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna hurt it. Don't. What am I looking at? Or what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're peeling me out. Hi, Mia. Oh, it's so nice to be out there. There's no time. Here, take this. What's this? Oh, no. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Oh, God. No. Uh, where does she pull a fucking knife, eh, man? As though I don't get any of her stuff. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I thought Kill him. you Kill him. loved me. Oh, I blocked you, bitch. <laughs> Husband versus wife. Die, you fucking bitch. I keep blocking. Why is there no walking? Put your crowbar in her face. Oh, right on that chest. I'm never gonna go back to feeling bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mia. You went through all this. Can I have your machine gun? Oh. <gasps> Is Mia dying? Don't kill that bitch. Is Mia dead? Is Mia dead? Why, Mia? Why? I just make terrible decisions so I open my games. <laughs> Where did your machine gun fucking dissolve along with you? What about your fucking explosives? What about your corrosives? I'm gonna assume oh, everything's going. I don't even have a goddamn crowbar. <laughs> I go hee haw. Okay, what fuck are you? You have nothing, Ethan. I don't know why you're getting all uppity. I went through all that stuff to get the grenade launcher, the good shotgun, the good pistol. To end up with hee haw. And also, side note, but uh, hee haw in Glasgow means nothing. So, like, if I end up with hee haw, then I've ended up with nothing. Because I feel like I've been saying it a lot recently, and uh, I sometimes forget that not everyone that watches this is going to be from Glasgow <laughs> or Scotland. I don't know if they say it in other parts of Scotland. I actually think it's really fun to say, hee haw. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's all your fault. You're very terrible writing, Evelyn. Did you go to school? Because I can't see the fault there. No, nope, I'm still not getting it. Maybe if I go further away. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm still not seeing it. <laughs> nope. I mean, I'm kind of getting you. Oh. Oh, there's the O. It's all. Okay, I guess I see fault. It's still terrible. I know I can't enunciate and pronounce anything, but I can at least write decent. <laughs> My handwriting is fairly well. Oh. Oh. I see. Can we see the stars? Can I try and find some things? I'll show you Jupiter! <laughs> yeah, I think Mia's dead. But then, does that mean... Does that mean... How is that? How is a fish? If I... Or hopefully when I... Kill... Evelyn... Is... Will Jack and that come back? I don't know if... Evelyn, uh, Marguerite will come back because she dissolved. And I don't even. 
Is that a helicopter? I don't even know what happened to Lucas. <gasps> a helicopter! I'm over here! Is there anything for me to get? Can I move that fish boat? Oh, nice! I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think Marguerite will come back because she dissolved. I don't remember what happened to Lucas. We didn't even fight <coughs> Lucas. I don't remember. No. This looks fun. Oh. Oh, it's getting deeper. Am I going to need to swim? <laughs> I'm just pushing on these fish a bit. Oh, stuff. Flame burns. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bring it on the fish with me, just in case we need dinner. Who's up for fish? Ah, oh, yeah, that's how I see Okay, we'll take these two. Let's go, fishies. <laughs> Alright, let's go. With our fish dinner. <laughs> no jump scares. It's not allowed. We just lost Mia. We're grieving. We're a grieving Ethan. <laughs> okay. Apparently this is a safe house, but I don't know if I believe that. Oh. Enhanced ammo. Abbas Grumby Salt Main. South Dolby. I feel like I've heard of Dolby. Okay, some read material. <laughs> there was a col February 18th, 1892. Wow. That was a long time ago. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Turin and Beckford are dead and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Wow, fuck. That was a very bad collapse. Old man Stan was right. The ground here is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Okay. So they overworked their min miners. I'm sure they also done that in modern day. Um, mining. <laughs> as well. Is that the helicopter that just flew by? Are they watching us from that helicopter? Oh. Oh, so does that go by often? Oh, safe box. Oh, that's a safe room. Are we in a lab? Okay, I'll turn the radio first. See if it, we can talk to anyone in there. Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Oh. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a, a skirmish. skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. Oh. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Lucas? Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. Or me. Are they... If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay. So they're out looking for Evelyn? And they knew they were at the Baker's house that whole fucking time? Okay. Oh, we're going to the lab. So that's interesting. Did I get all my stuff back? I've taken me out! Yes! I get the fucking... I get the goddamn submachine gun too. Okay, I'm going to really need to walk this out. Put that in there, put that in there. I got lots of antique coins. And I'll buy something. How much is that again? How much? How much? Selling? Oh, it tells you in the bottom. <laughs> Nine and five, damn it. I think. How much magnum ammo have we got? I got five bullets for the magnum. I think I'm gonna buy the pistol. A, B, and C's. I need to do it individually. I'll be with you in ten years' time. <laughs> Last one. Ah, oh, yeah, we got Magnum, baby. That takes up two species. Are you kidding me? Nice. Okay, we'll do that for the. Put my antique cup back. You know what? <laughs> Put my antique coins back. 
Wait, why? I have my handgunner. I should have way more than 19 bullets. Oh. I, I had my strong ammo on. <laughs> I only have five magnum bullets. I mean, I guess I could keep it for... Emergencies? <laughs> okay, so we've got the machine gun. We've got the pistol. We've got the magnum. Very nice. And we have... The grenade launcher. You know what? Maybe I'll take the grenade launcher right there, I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow myself up like I've done before. Okay, I've spent way too much time vaulting the room. Oh, but there's ammo. Oh, but I don't have spoons for ammo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see what's beyond door number two. That's kinda nice. Hello? I don't have space for hee-haw. Man. Oh! Magnum runes. Nice. I know I'm patching the cam fluids. But I literally don't have space for it. Hey! Hi guys! Hi! Use it all. You come to. I'm just gonna run in the safe room. He's not coming. Yeah, you do. You're actually kind of quicker than I feel like he's normally. Hey! Hey! I was gonna say I was in the safe room. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. Yeah, hopefully, nobody's down. I'll take the cam flute. I just. Wait, I need to go do more item management. I swear I'll move on eventually. Got the strong camp flute. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some neural rounds. Oh, I got two. I've never had them before, so I thought it would be pretty cool to try it out. Let's go, finally, let's go. Hopefully they haven't respawned because it took so long. But now I have neuro rounds and they are they are apparently poisonous. So it might help me in the fight to come. There's, I don't know the game, but I know there's a fight to come. There's a couple of guys still kicking about. There's actually a few of them. I think I'm just gonna run. But then will the other guys respawn? Come at me, boys! And we go in here, and you're all dead! But do the other ones respawn? Answer my question, please. No. What the fuck? I don't think so. I was afraid of my life, man. Whew. In case you didn't know by that wee gully squeal. <laughs> fuck! Ow! 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 What the fuck? Ow! 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 <laughs> fuck you, man! Anything else? Take a health kit. Thank God I made so many. Come back for ammo. I swear I'll get away for this. Fucking. Please don't any more spawn in. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Just in case any spawn in behind me, all that man. <laughs> I told you. Not to spawn in behind me. I'm Ethan, bitch. I'm Katty Do. But please still don't come at me. <laughs> I don't want you to take that as like a come at me, bro. It's more of a stay away from me, bro. You know? <laughs> What's all of this? Oh. Machine gun ammo. 
shotgun shields. I could definitely use that. Was that a strong game fluid though? So much stuff I can't pick up. Poop. It's poop. It's what it is. It's what it is. Okay. I guess, uh... Oh, do I need to go to the other side? <laughs> no, but it's right you. <laughs> I always miss things that are right in front of me. One last check on this side. And I think we're good to go. Hey, come on! I know I took my time. <laughs> I was double checking. You need to be safe. Let's go. Into the mains. I don't know how I feel about that, just so you know. I'm really scared. Oh God. I'm already terrified. Oh. It's not, it wasn't like me out for a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going in. I need more. It would be nice to have revolver ammo. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you, motherfucker. I see. I see you, trap. See you too. Take it, Lucas has done here. That's handgun ammo. Nice. Cause in the radio, which I assume is for the helicopter. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, we are done. And the radio call for the helicopter. I have. I don't have space for you. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> and the radio call. Am I get to finish my sentence? They said that he was done in the mines. I could have made the mode he'd go into that. But were they talking about Lucas or were they talking about me? Because I would assume that I was the third party that they were talking about. I was just. I don't know. <laughs> These are our questions that will hopefully get answered at some point. I don't trust this, man. All right. Oh, there's three ways to go. Oh, well there's bombs in this way. This is cool. I mean, I, I will be saying that if I like, die or something. I don't have enough space for magnum ammo, are you sure? <laughs> are you, you only get... Where is my ammo? Do I even have magnum ammo? I only have seven in the actual gun. Oh, oh I see. Am I willing to part with anything? Not really. <laughs> at most I'm thinking I could part with my shotgun shells, but I might really need my shotgun at some point. My magnum is just kind of like a backup. <laughs> Gotta take this out. Not dead. Oh, nope. Oh, fuck. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Can I get the ammo? No. <laughs> Still no. But thank God I had that the bombs right. Is that a trap? I know Lucas sets traps. Whoa! 
I know I shoot the waste man. Shotguns! Shotguns! Bot. <laughs> Needs must. Could have just used another bomb though. I see. Pushing! You should just get on it. <laughs> How fun would that be? Are we getting on it? Oh no. You're so boring, Ethan. Imagine it goes to Kevin. We all die. I don't get my bombs up. Just in case. I see a trap. Okay. You gotta check your your areas, you know. Is that for going up the stairs? That's my cr that's I like how we've had uh, different environments to. Oh! Nice. To check it. Aww. And. I don't got space for nothing. <laughs> but you know, we've, we've had different environments, you know. We've had the house, we've had the garden, the. What do you call that? The greenhouse. Ow! Fuck, where was the other one? I thought I shot one. Oh, I'm an arsehole. And you were a bomb team. Ow. Ow. I don't have space for shit. Like these? Don't have space for you. What's that though? Alright, I guess we can see what's on the computer before leaving things. Sent Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. <laughs> okay. Mom and dad are totally under though. I was wondering, is the whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Ooh, programmed? It? What the fuck do you mean? November 4th, 2015. At Bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since me is her favourite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks me is her mummy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Whoa! Mia was created for as a bioweapon, so and then she went fucking apeshit. <laughs> Evie la la land. <laughs> September 1st, 2016. Wow. Just under a year later. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of her family. So she just wanted to make a whole family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me just because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. That's a lot to take in. Why... Why does she not look old now, though? That is a lot to take in. So... Evelyn... I'm not gonna pause it. Evelyn was created as a bioweapon, I'm gonna assume, for America. But she go out a horn and started killing everything. Or turning everything into the moldy. And then she just... <laughs> go people to kidnap people for her and why are some people the molded and then you've got some people who are like jack in that who are themselves but can also be monsters i don't get it it's fucking it's nuts i don't want it but it's also so interesting <gasps> that could really use some steroids i hate this place can't i just get a safe box so i can take some steroids <coughs> steroids so i could do some what the fuck's that? What the fuck is happening? What the hell is this? What the hell is going on? 
Five minutes after dust, vomiting. E necrotoxin E series dosage test. Twelve minutes after dust, cell calcification. Ten minutes after dust, death. Is that Evelyn? It kind of looks like Evelyn. So they were doing a lot of experiments with this, sh with this molded stuff. Just to make a bio weapon? That is fucked up, man. Is there a safe box in this place? <gasps> there is! I can don't go take steroids! That's what, that's what that means, right? Item box, yes! What is this? Stuff? Can I not read it? Research report. Why can I not read it? I definitely can't read that. <laughs> there is, I just have to press A like an arsehole! And do you ever get sick of yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of myself. Okay, time to learn about Evelyn. This project was in instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next bass, <laughs> next generation experimental battlefield superiority. Okay, initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Next bus was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. Oh wow, so they gave up everything for Evelyn. What makes this project mark markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Does it though? Did it though? <laughs> Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only PAL handling, but <laughs> also combat itself. It's no wonder we had the blah, 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 and even uh, blah, 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 organization chomping at the bit to <laughs> get on board. I wonder what, why they're blocked to it. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery and blah, 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 of blah, 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 blah. the remarkably progressed Vicarian evolution Viserion? I don't know. Fungus. Oh, it's a fungus that we commonly term the mutamcite. Oh! So it's a fungus that's in her. Okay. I like that she's been molded with. I don't know. Mold. Get it? <laughs> the fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the m mutamcite genome to the pre stage for human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. So they done it to embryos, so they were mixing a fucking fungus with unborn children. That's great! Well done, next pass! <laughs> and the resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens, ingrained and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. Like when we needed a D series head and a D series arm to make a cure. Common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. So they used children uh, basically as fucking emotional bait. <laughs> the first E C D specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamocyte <laughs> from a tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamocyte imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer mm. pheromones used for quorum sensing in su pseudominous bacteria. I knew all the fucking words! <laughs> So, like, give me a second to try and unfold this. So, their theory is, is that those pheromones sense bacteria. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of fucked up. They're using ten-year-old wins. Children. As bioweapons. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages. The first of which is hallucination. Oh. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there. And even her 
hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Oh, so Mia was definitely insane. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people, like the bakers. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamocyte infection has progressed throughout the body's cells. So the body... Ah, wow, wow. wow. So the body, you know, goes blank, apparently. <laughs> that is nuts. So is she getting older, or is she appearing older sometimes? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, more stuff to read. Okay, we'll read this. Maybe it'll have, maybe it'll connect it and maybe it'll break it down for us or something. Oops. Evelyn's functions also included the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. So, the molded. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are super organisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously. <laughs> With the slight, slightest provoca provocation. Provocation? Being provoked. Provocation! <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible with English. It is my first language. And I can't speak it. Being provoked. <laughs> the fungal toughness and remarkable strength gives them significant battlefield potential. Oh, I am a whale. The researchers have been calling these superior organisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded as in shaped, the name has a certain elegance to it. Does it? Try fighting the fuckers off. <laughs> For the treatment of accidental infections, performing <laughs> on samples of Eve Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique f fungicidal serum. Administri administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Oh. So why didn't Jack die? Since the tre- or maybe he has died? I don't know. <laughs> Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal- My controller ran it. Back to uh, Disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. Ah, so, the okay, I get it. The serum's basically to get rid of the fucking infected. So I could never save anyone, really, then. I guess, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and exploring the serum's potential, we found that subject, sub, subject, subjecting it to haplopla would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which, and even tiny amounts. <laughs> I don't even know what the words could be. <laughs> so the serum isn't a cure, it's basically to just make sure that <laughs> the moldy don't spread everywhere. That's interesting. Must be an interest I just said that. Must be interesting to observe in Evelyn's behaviour is her obsession with the concept of family. In the experiments we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she was really their daughter. Like Jack and Marguerite? Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. Ah, so... Or the theory is that it's for survival. That is cool. I wonder why she, eh, uh, makes people think they're her family. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. Her parents love. I don't know, it comes down to, can monsters really love? <laughs> you know, like, can, can, can monsters really be nice? I don't know. I really don't know. But thank god there was a fucking box there. But, we're gonna figure out what's in that box next week. We're gonna figure out what happened to Evelyn next week. Where the f hell is she? 
Is Jack still alive? Where the hell was Jack and Zoe when we were talking to them? I don't know. It's all kind of... In one horn, this is all kind of coming together. But in the other horn, it's also oh, just bringing more questions. Oh, uh, there's another report. Wait there, we'll hold off the outro to read this. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium hereafter referred to as mold. Oh, okay. So mold is the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series and infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized, weaponized assets. You could really use this at the start of the game. Just saying! Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself. And slowly it takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities like Jack. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to coapt <laughs> the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Like Lucas. And that was fucking crazy. <laughs> so they can regenerate because of the mold. That's kind of... I mean, it has its uses, right? <laughs> Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under control, uh, under complete control of the ECD's asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. That's so interesting. But, and Marguerite got a brain scan and the doctor wanted to talk to her and then nothing came of that. <laughs> complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, oh, I'm aware, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Again! Fucking aware. <laughs> I already know this. I could have wrote that report right for you. <laughs> Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Okay, so the day, troops, I hope you can take all that in. If you're watching this, please subscribe if you can take it in. If you can't take it in, then subscribe even more because I've, I'm, I'm gubbed. I'm confused. Call me confused.com. <laughs> I know that was, that was a cheesy joke. So fuck it. Screw it. My troops, I'm leaving it there. Name our stuff to read. We've read everything. We've got all the information for this room, anyway. Again, it's a lot to take in. It's I'm going to pause it. It's a lot to just absorb. The uh, Evelyn was a fucking weapon I used. A bio weapon. And at the age of 10. And the fact that she can just now infect people at her will. It's just, it's nuts. But also an absolutely amazing storyline, I think. I don't know, I just... I think that's a really good way to go down. I didn't see that coming, that she was a fucking bioweapon. I don't know what I thought about Evelyn, to be honest. I, d I don't know, I thought maybe she was just this crazy villain born with pebbles. <laughs> but no, it turns out she was a bioweapon, which is kind of worse. I, I guess it would have been kind of cheesy if she was a super villain, right? <laughs> but really interesting, so maybe we'll find out more next week. So... Until then, put your notification bell on so you know when the next episode's do. But I'll give you a hint, it'll be next Sunday. Because this is my Sunday games. Scary Sundays! <laughs> but, yeah, maybe ho hopefully next week we'll find out some more information on this. And maybe we'll find out, like, because it mentioned that she grew grey hairs and stuff and looked old. So I don't know, maybe we'll find out more about that. Who knows? Until then, no troops... Wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one. And until next time, thumbs on our weight stakes, safe and clean. <laughs> until then, though, thumbs and Ethan. We finally got Ethan back. I totally forgot all about that. Me and maybe did. I'm not too sure. Who knows? We saw Jack and Zoe, so for all we know, Mia could still be alive. Who knows? But until next time, thumbs and Ethan, we're out of here.